hearings on two derelict properties, 449 Klondike Road, 235 Lane Avenue, South Lane Avenue. Uh, the hearing would be on January 4, 2011 at 5 o'clock in the new building, and we need a motion to do that. So I say something before we can tell you second, but I want to discuss. Second with discussion. I think 235 is cleaned up. No, 237. Was that second They're telling up? me 237 is cleaned up. Zombie well, Conference is giving off. me 235, and this is yeah. what it looks like. We left that off. We left off one on Markham. I talked to Mr. Levins today about it. And I said, what happened? He said, I'm sorry, I dropped the ball. There was supposed to be one at 117 Markham. We've already adjacent cleaned, to the other one. We that cleaned, was cleaned 117 up. Markham the other day. 119, excuse me. Okay. 119, I, I, I'm sorry. Um, and he dropped the ball. Okay. He didn't put it on there. Well, do y'all, are you sure of that address? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, pretty sure, because he goes north. Why, yes, yes I, 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 We'll put it on the next agenda. Let's, let's put it, we have to put it on the next okay. agenda. All right, so yeah. we're scheduling the hearing for 235 South Lane and 449 Klondike Road for January the 4th, 2011 at 5 o'clock. Is that the whole uh, Klondike Commission? Yeah. That's a whole different other thing. That, we'll talk that about one. that in a minute. All in favor? Okay. Aye. 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 All right. No, it's okay. Now, I have a um, resolution to uh, assess the cost of cleaning at 117 Markham Drive. And the total amount is 3,924.13. That's 2,424.13 plus 1,500 penalty. We need to adopt this resolution. So moved. Second. second. Whichever way you want. Uh, All in favor. Right. I mean, we need a. Uh, Bernie, you want Bernie Parker? Aye. Okay. Aye. Okay. That place in the corner of Klondike. I'm waiting for Mr. Simpson. Are you, um, are you supposed to find out something? Yeah, we, we, we have to. The, the notices that we provide to people mm -hmm. about cleaning are about we're going to go in there and clean up your property. If, you, if you're going to condemn it and tear it down, there's a separate, a, a different hearing you have to have. We've never given that guy an opportunity to have a hearing on destruction of the property. I, I, I know it seems redundant, but if, if that's what you guys want to do, if you want to literally tear it down, we got to give him notice that we're going to do it and give him an opportunity to come in here and, and either object to it or, or do it himself. Well, I think, we, we the, the, uh, I think we've gone the, every way we could to give him that opportunity and chance. Now we need to go forward with it and just well, have it's, a hearing. It's, yeah, it's just it's a little different. It, it's a little different question if it's if, if there's open cisterns and standing water and dangerous stuff around on the ground that's one thing but the structure may still be stable in which case you can't tear the structure down you just clean it up on the other hand if the structure is is a, is dangerous and can't be fixed and has to come down well then that see that's a different issue and and, and so I, I agree with you we've given him every chance to clean it up and do everything else he can but on t and he hadn't done it, but on top of that, the building can't be fixed. No matter what he does, there's nothing he can do to fix that building. That's what our building official says. Right. So we need we need to give cite him that and have the hearing. I think we we'll do it on the January fourth yeah, also, let's, let's and, and have the condemnation on hearing. The the other year. Okay. Yeah. That Mr. Kruger made the motion and Mr. Ponce made the second. Do you want to add that to your motion to schedule the yes. hearing and yeah. condemnation? Yes. Yeah. Condemnation. Yeah. You're going to have to help me with that. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Mayor, if I may, one more thing. I, since Jim made that comment, what about those properties on Highway 90? The Kmart property, they still got that? Aesthetically, it looks terrible. I think there's a boat in front of it still at the corner of... Uh, no. The Kmart property. We're talking about the Kmart property. What about the kangaroo? Plus the one at the Ramada Inn. The, old the statute says it's got to be a danger. It's got to be a danger hurting somebody. It's just aesthetically unpleasing. We don't have a right to tear it down. I mean, okay. It, it, I mean, I wish we could. I, I know we want to, but it's it's it, you guys have to have to truly believe that somebody can get hurt. 
as a result of it. Some kid could crawl in the building and fall on him or it's hurting our feelings he, he looking at it. Just being <laughs> fun, <laughs> ugly. Yeah. Just, I, I remember, you it's remember causing the thing deep the psychological yeah. trauma. To well, you remember the thing that used to be the sunflower and pastor stand down there on the beach? That structure was there for years. There's so, something down on the beach. Of, I mean, on the scene, so and pastor just stand down. We can't do anything at all. Just, it, it's no crime to be ugly. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you just call I have called all the ball. You said he was going to take it down. Yeah, I know. Your buddy was the same. They were going to take down the other. Now they don't find him in that place. Right. So whoever owns that property, we probably could give it a shot and say, you need to get this out of that country. Okay. Yeah. But you need to remind me. All right. Look it up. All right. Call him again. Call him again. Call him again. Excuse me, Mayor Gore, I have a couple of parallel properties I need Mr. Simpson's advice on. Um, we have a property um, on North Nicholson. Um, Mayor, I know you're aware of it, the one that was actually cleaned up. But there's still an abandoned house on it, and all they did was supposed to tear it down, all they did was board the windows. Um, and we're not sure what our next step is with that house to get it torn down. Does it have to be deemed a danger? Yeah, you, you have to condemn it. I mean, it has to be something that can't be repaired or... or and who is, makes that determination? Earl. So I'll, I'll need to add. Yeah. Earl, Earl goes out and examines it and they look at it and then he brings the information to you guys and you guys listen to his report and make a determination. You vote, is it is it capable of being repaired? If you feel it's not, you condemn it and then uh, we tear it down. That's the same thing. We have the same kind of the same kind of thing. Okay. And, um, I guess there's Mr. Mayor, Mr. Mayor, on that same property. There's a dead tree that's right on the property line, leaning on the house next door. Um, should that have been torn down or taken down when they cleaned the property, or do I need to now put that on the list again? Whose property is it on? It's on the derelict. It's on the derelict property, but it's leaning on the neighbors. I think that becomes a liability for Daryl's property owner. So do I need to now put them back on the list? Um, I don't know about taking trees now. <laughs> I don't know. We thought we were saying that. Well, we were going to talk about it. Like the people next door mm -hmm. need to do something to them or send at least so send them a letter. He actually cleaned the lot, but he did not take the dead tree down. He didn't finish it. Right. I don't like you to go back to him again and tell him I mean, it's a hazard to the neighbor. I mean, he could be liable. If that yeah, but I mean, I don't know. He, he could be liable. If, he, if that tree falls on the neighbor's house, he could be liable, and, and it is no comfort to the neighbor at all. But but I don't know that the city has the power to go on that well, property. And I'm, not, I'm not asking for us to go down. I just didn't know if I needed to schedule another public hearing to get the tree taken down. You won't, well, you won't get to do a public hearing for the tree because the city won't be a play in yeah. Taking a tree down. I yeah, think that's true. what we're trying to. Yeah. It's uh, that becomes civil. Right. You know, I mean, that's his property, and if he wants to let something. Yeah, I, don't, I still house, think we have the. Yeah. He may hire Mr. Simpson to, no, to sue him. You know. But I, I guess if we can also get an update on the property on Beat Line, the infamous property on Beat Line. I know we've talked. The about Jefferson it. property. Yes. Uh, I, I've, I've been been trying to get that ready, and I have been trying to get the the co-owner of the property there's a there's a reluctant have, have we been over this there's a there's a reluctant or a surprise co-owner of the property to the north a part of that property was sold for taxes and mr jefferson lost the title to it and the new owner just got it because because he used to buy lots of property in tax sale and eventually he died and his son became the owner of the property through his estate his son didn't know anything about it or doesn't know anything about the property and, and told me frankly speaking he had never he knew he owned something over there but he'd never been to look at it and so i called joe sam owen and told him you need to go look at it because we're fixing to have to sue you to make you claim the property <laughs> Yeah, Joe Sam Owen. 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 He's got all kinds of money. Well, I don't know. But he, he, he is cooperative. Well, he, 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 he wants to do whatever he can do to make it right. Come he, on, tell he, him to come on. He understands that, that Mr. Jefferson, apparently for the last few years, has been trespassing on his land, dumping stuff on his land. So he says he'll be glad to join me in, in uh, pursuing this effort. I'm just trying to coordinate well, the effort with him. Well, if he will well, be a part of this. <laughs> maybe he'll <laughs> carry us away. We can get a discount on Lee. Well, we could just get him to do it all. Yeah. <laughs>
tell you what. But, but I am working on that drive in the When I drive by the LB line, I notice there's a lot of debris, his debris, that is on the city property. I have concerns about the, that. The northern, maybe third of that property, that joins Ms. Desport's property, yeah. it belongs to Joe Sambo. And it were different, different parcels, and there was a tax sale to Tofi Owen years ago, and it matured. Mr. Jefferson never got it. They have a the, power high line going over to a power line going across the lot of yeah. Right, right, right up from, I think it's that part and a little bit south. But I mean, I went out and looked at it, and there are, the Jefferson, Mr. Jefferson has dumped a bunch of trash on that property. Well, if you want to get on somewhere where, where stuff is sitting on city right away, go to Mr. Jefferson's property on North Ocean. On the other side. Wait, I'm gonna if you really that, want to see that. I'm going to see that on the agenda. Okay, because that is out in the street. That's out in the street. I can tell you that. Okay. All right. Well, you already have it. All right. Next is the economic development director. Uh, unfinished business. Well, we we've uh, had a couple of meetings in uh, Kay and uh, Carolyn and uh, several others have got together. Um, requested resumes, and we had an update to go out to the people that requested resumes telling them of our financial situation with it. And we came up with, uh, we got six resumes back. Of those six resumes, um, the people that were at the meeting today came up with three of them that seemed to answer a lot of the questions uh, and wanted to present all the resumes to the board for everyone to look at and go through. We came up with two. So, I'm sorry, what I said, three? Uh-huh. Two. Okay. I only have two names written here. Who's always on this on this this committee? It's myself, Carolyn Leonard, Steve Lynn Haas, Kathy Bergeron, um, Lauren Hemel. That's who's been sh showing up to the meetings. Lauren he um, with Lauren Hemel. When I, when we started, it was Chamber of Commerce. Yeah. yeah. How are we getting all? I don't know where all this. And, 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 and Mr. Um, Triplett. Yeah. Kenny yeah. Triplett. Was that a meeting here? But uh, from the resumes that we received and looked at, everyone looked at the ones that, uh, and we came up with two names that, that seemed to answer a lot of the questions. And of course, I uh, want, want the board to look at all the resumes and, and make up their own minds. But uh, we came up with Mike Turner and Bill Hessel seemed to be answering a lot of the questions. Uh, but again, this they, they need to be interviewed yet. And, uh, Is this Mike Turner used to live here? Lives in Diamond Head now. No, he, he, live on yeah. he was the economic yeah. developer for Hancock, for Hancock County. County. Yeah. Right. Is that Aunt Matt and Amy's home? Mm -hmm. no, he yeah, he did some is. work for us before the hurricane on grant writing and whatever. Okay, so what, what's our next step? That's basically the committee's. The next step yeah, the next is step up is to ours. It's yeah. ours to you look at the side between those two. Side. Okay. Well, I mean, take the resumes, look at them. You don't need to decide between those two. That's just the recommendation of that committee. I mean, I think that's natural. That's why you have committee. So, I guess the question is, is um, what is the next step? Do we want to copy all six resumes for all the board members, or do you want just the resume for the board members? Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. Okay, so, so we should provide the board the two resumes for all six members. Yeah, that's what I want to say. Okay. Now, Betty, I'm going to ask you this question. Yeah. Do we I have the resume. Do I exclude all the personal information before I give them to the board members as far as Social Security? Oh, yeah. Numbers we don't all? need all that. Okay. Well, the committee, committee had all that. Just send them the sign to ask them. Yeah. It needs to be treated confidentially. Where are the resumes? Yeah, we probably did not need to get to Social Security numbers until we had chosen an applicant. Well, that, I, they all came that way. Where are the resumes? They're right here. If I, if I were you, I would redact that. I'd black out the Social Security yes, numbers. Well, we thought about the In fact, if you, if you want to, I can scan those, black, black everything out, scan them, and send them to all the board members that's after the meeting. Tomorrow sometime. I'll get them. 